So this is Russell Natchez and I'm going to show you a uh, OP1 controlled from IPython notebook. So this is my little setup here um, and uh, somewhat not exactly relevant but it's kind of cool. I 3D printed this cool little stand for my OP1 um, since I happen to have a 3D printer right here. Um, and uh, this, this part is available for free download on Thingiverse. Um, and it has these cool little 3D printed screws that go into the, to the back of the OP1. Um, and so I have here a uh, Linux machine running IPython, IPython notebook. Um, and um, I scroll up here. Um, on focus. Uh, what I've done here is uh, I've imported uh, the Python MIDI module and um, then the OP1 device. Uh, if you run the little MIDI hardware dump or MIDI dump hardware script, uh, it will show up here usually on uh, as client 24. Um, and so in the script here, Tell it's client 24 and initialize this. And uh, I have this cute little function which I'll post uh, elsewhere on my blog. Um, so I can play a note and a duration, or maybe a note and interval and a number of duration or whatever. And uh, when I run it, I get. And I can change the note, for example. Let's. Right now, these are just represented as numbers. And maybe I'll change the interval here from three to, I'm stepping up by whole, note, whole notes, right? Still doesn't sound very nice. So how about four? And you can do some cool things since this is in a programming language. You can do a little for loop. That was fun. Um, or you can play random stuff. That was exciting. Um, but what is quite fun, sounds sort of organ-like, is um, you can also go and download um, uh, some MIDI files and then dump them into the OP1 from Python, which is pretty cool. So you can do things like this.
<laughs> this is not very nice. And there's a bug in the MIDI file, but anyway, there you go. OP1 controlled from Python on Linux.